Oke. Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Nelson Mitsamba. Uh, of course, this is Shabiri to Uganda e-learning. And uh, in today's video, shall be talking about uh, more about the, the two-dimension geometries. Uh, we said uh, in these geometries, we are dealing with the uh, shapes. Uh, how do we find the, 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 the area? How do we find the perimeter? Uh, uh, things of that kind. So uh, today we shall uh, purposely be dealing with shall be purposely be dealing with uh, uh, finding the area and the perimeters of these shapes, uh, especially our triangle. Because in our recent videos, we've been able to sort it out with the square. How do you find the area of a square? Uh, how do you find the area of a rectangle? How do you find the perimeter of a square and the perimeter of uh, a rectangle? So in today's video, we shall be handling uh, triangles. Uh, if they tell you to find the area of a triangle, how do you uh, come up with the correct answer? Or when they tell you to f find uh, the perimeter of uh, a triangle, how do you come about? Yes, uh, in our recent videos, we are able to define uh, if they talk about the area, what do they need? Uh, in the area, they totally need uh, uh, <coughs> the space uh, within uh, the what? The, uh, the triangle. And the perimeter, they want the total distance or the measure of uh, the shape uh, of that uh, particular <coughs> uh, area. Okay, so uh, let's get started with uh, finding out problems in uh, these shapes. Okay, uh, so here we shall be able to finding uh, the areas of a what of a triangle. Okay. Yes, uh, when they talk of a triangle, we can say triangle sometimes behaves uh, the other way around. Uh, we can call this one a triangle. This one is a triangle. And and also, uh, this one is uh, a triangle. As you're saying, uh, this one is a triangle. And also, this one is a triangle. Now, uh, we have two categories of triangle here. We have this triangle. Uh, there is triangle 3, then triangle 4. Uh, so these are the categories of triangles. So you can see uh, uh, these triangles, all of them are triangles, but they look, uh, they do not look the same. Uh, this one has a sharp height, uh, and this one has also a sharp height. Uh, but you find that when you want it, when you want to see and you want to find out uh, this triangle of ours, it has the dotted uh, lines in it. Okay, let me try to demonstrate it here more uh, using this pen tool. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. We have this category of triangle. Okay. And, uh, let me be smart in drawing this. We have this category of what? This category of triangle, okay, which is having some dots in it, okay, and we also have this category of a triangle, uh, which has uh, a sharp height of it, okay. So we call all these uh, triangles. So <coughs> in a uh, problem of finding the area and the perimeter uh, you'll meet category you'll meet various categories like this and you'll meet various categories like this okay uh, now here we use uh, a formula uh, of finding these uh, triangles one uh, of our formula uh, our area is equal to our h Okay, we shall say our H uh, times, okay, HB uh, times our B. Uh, this is the formula we are going to use, uh, but on top of this formula, we shall be able to divide by 2. Okay, so this is the formula we are going to use, where our H is the height, okay, our H 
is going to be our height h is the height of the triangle okay I may not write it very well here uh, but this is the what this is the height okay uh, then our b b is the base b is the what is the base of the triangle uh, you know what we mean by a base I'm going to demonstrate to you okay yes uh, when you talk of our height uh, we can call this one a height okay this one is a height and also this one is a what is a height uh, then this one becomes our base okay our base our height our height okay so here we shall be able to, to to find our area if we can be able to find our area when you know our when you know the height and the base <coughs> all right and then here we can be able now to apply our formula that area is equal to the height and uh, then uh, times uh, the base uh, divided by two then uh, there we can be able to find uh, the solution for it let's look at this example given uh, we are given our triangle 3 uh, which has uh, a height of 5 centimeters and the base of uh, 6 centimeters uh, we also have our triangle 4 with uh, a height of 5 centimeters and the base of uh, 5 centimeters also okay <coughs> so uh, let's look at how we came up with this problem now you can see that our triangle 3 has a base which is B as I've explained and a measure a measure of 6 centimeters and height okay uh, which is HB and measuring of 5 centimeters okay which is our base so in applying the formula we shall be able to say our area is equal to our H okay our H uh, then a small b and then times our base okay divided by 2 so our height here uh, we have um, we have our we have our what we have our our height here okay which is which is 5 centimeters and our base as 6 centimeters okay so here we can now be able to apply the formula uh, since our height is our height is 5 and our base is 6 so we shall be able to say a uh, 5 times 6 uh, divided by 2 then we shall be able to get our 30 uh, divided by 2 so our area shall be equal to uh, 15 okay this 15 uh, but because uh, our SI units uh, of centimeters is centimeters cubed uh, then here we shall be able to say it is 15 centimeters cubed okay uh, let's also try to look at uh, more about uh, uh, the area still because we had uh, two two triangles our four the fourth triangle which was drawn like this where we had our five here and we had our five here we have our height as five and the base which is also five are uh, still applying the same uh, formula each area equal to the height times the base uh, divided by two uh, then we shall be able to say 5 times 5 which is the height and the base uh, then divide by 2 then we shall be able to come up with uh, 25 uh, divided by 2 then we get 12.5 uh, centimeters uh, do not be able to forget uh, the SI unit which is centimeters centimeters what centimeters cubed okay so uh, particular this is how we can find uh, the area of a triangle when you are given uh, to solve a certain problem uh, let's also look at how we can find uh, the perimeter of a triangle if you are asked and they say uh, find the perimeter of a rectangle uh, this is how you can also do it uh, 
in finding the parameter here we use a formula uh, we use a formula which is parameter is equal to uh, a plus b k plus c remember we said uh, a parameter uh, is the total distance or is the measure of uh, the shape the total distance around the what around the shape so if you have uh, three sides of this shape then if you want to find the parameter or the total distance around this shape we shall be able to add uh, these shapes all together for us to be able to get uh, the parameter so we have our uh, examples here I uh, will have a uh, uh, triangle one it has uh, seven centimeters uh, six centimeters and five centimeters our triangle two we have uh, uh, five centimeters five centimeters and six centimeters so we shall be able to apply uh, this formula which is equal to par parameter is equal to a plus b a plus b plus c so uh, this means uh, if you have our triangle in this category if you have our triangle in this category uh, we can be able to name our our figure as a as b and c okay uh, whichever side you have started from you can be able to name them in that way uh, that means our parameter now shall be equal to our a our a plus b plus c Okay, which I have demonstrated here a plus a b plus c uh, that means now when I give any numbers we shall be able now to, to solve that number very easily let's look at how uh, they solved uh, that number now in our triangle one has uh, side measuring uh, five seven and six these are the sides as you can see here uh, these are seven six and five uh, then we shall be able now to solve and see uh, the total distance or the measure of this uh, a triangle within <coughs> uh, the shape uh, then here we are able to state our formula which is equal to uh, a plus b plus c uh, which is the same as 5 plus 7 plus this then our total area or our total measure shall be equal to 18 centimeters uh, then we can also uh, look at our triangle B which has a measuring of 6, 5 and 5 so we shall be able to add and uh, get uh, the total measure of uh, that shape uh, so particularly that's how we can find uh, the uh, perimeter or the total distance or the measure of the shape of any given uh, figure okay so uh, be able to learn and understand uh, what it means uh, by finding a parameter in simple term the total distance around that shape or the measure around that shape is what you call a parameter okay i hope everyone has understood this and can be able to take up and find any number which may be given Oh, for this let me say thank you very much uh, for watching this tutorial uh, be, please be able to uh, ch uh, check out on our recent uh, videos and be able to subscribe for you to get the uh, all uh, all uh, video tutorials uh, for all the subjects uh, this is my number and our email elearning at shareability.net god bless you have a good moment.